Uh, so I'm going to talk about transition today. Uh, so I want everyone to take a moment and think about the last time you moved house, changed jobs, got a new employer, a new boss at the same employer. Just, just pause. Think about that. Think about what that was like. It was anxious, right? A lot of uncertainty there. Um, so that's the topic today, is transition. Um, <clears throat> so for me, I've lived, I've moved every year since I became an adult, at least once. Um, I've lived in eight cities across three states in the US and three countries around the world. Um, and so I found in this uneasiness and the uncertainty that comes with this sort of transition uh, that there are just three little steps uh, to help, help guide that process. Value, resources, and then adaptation and persistence. Um, and so the first one, value. What I mean by that is what are your values? What is the value that you have in the marketplace? So what skills do you have? And be honest about where your deficiencies are. This is part of your value when you go out and look for a position or when you're transitioning um, from one boss to another understanding and communicating that value to that employer. Um, and then what are your, your needs? What is the values, what are the values, what are the things that you hold dear that you want in your new position, in your new um, situation in life, in your new house, um, in whatever that situation may be? So for me, uh, the most recent uh, example of a large transition is about two and a half years ago, my partner and I moved to Sydney, Australia. So we were living in the Bay Area. Um, she had finished her PhD and went on the, the job market. Um, there's not a lot of university jobs that open up the same place. Uh, there's not a lot of companies situated in the same place as universities that will hire at the same time. And so we ran into this issue. And she got an excellent uh, opportunity in Sydney. We moved, um, sight unseen. So in the span of three months, we finished our PhDs, we got married, and we moved continents, um, countries, and jobs. Uh, so I quit my wonderful position at Sandia National Labs, which I really enjoyed, and I encourage anyone that's interested to uh, seek employment there. Uh, and she started a new uh, academic position at the University of Sydney. For me, the value of maintaining my family unit is more important than the specific job that I'm employed at. And the type of work that I do is not driven by where I'm working or who, who I call boss or who I report my hours to. It's driven by the type of work that I do, and that is um, I seek to develop a more reliable and environmentally conscious industrial world. So that, that guides my research portfolio. It doesn't have to be done any, by any specific company or any specific way, so long as I'm moving towards that goal. And on a personal level, I value family, and I value uh, the social impact that I can have. And I find a lot of that social impact value, I get that through ASME, and I can do that uh, from abroad uh, currently. As so that comes to the next point, and that's resources. What are your resources? What do you have to support your sort of transition? It took me quite a while to find a position. And so I was employed for almost a year. Um, but as our savings drained down, uh, we could balance that with um, her income. Another part of resources is your network, so your human resources. Uh, you also have an emotional network, a family network that provides social support. We relied on friends of friends of friends uh, who happened to be there or happened to have been there in the past that could give us advice. Uh, and so that local knowledge that comes through your network, whether or not it's a job lead that turns into a final position, is very important. And so that's the other part of resources, the human resources that you have at your disposal. Third one, adaptance and uh, persistence. As an engineering student, hopefully you got a very good um, training in persistence. Uh, to make it through an engineering degree, you have to be quite persistent, a little bit resilient uh, to make it through the curriculum. Certainly getting a PhD uh, will give you that training. It's easier to persist and to stay um, focused on achieving your goal if it's clear to you what that is, um, rather than just scrambling at every opportunity. And so I hope in your next transition uh, that you guys can, can thrive in that by staying true to your own values uh, and being honest with what value you have. Um, leveraging your resources, both physical and social, um, and being persistent and flexible enough to do that so that you can transition like you mean it. Thank you.